What's going on guys, Vulcan here, and today we're going through how to solve the fetid pools in the new Swamps of Corsis DLC. So this secret caused lots and lots and lots of headaches and pretty much stumped everyone in the community for a few days until someone accidentally had solved it. So pretty cool that, you know, just stumble upon it and that's the big solution that everybody's chasing. First off, all credit goes to the amazing Secrets community on the Remnant Discord. They worked night and day tirelessly. They were chasing down all kinds of leads. Some were just wild. Things like trying to link ROM to Corsis because of the Guardian Hearts. Maybe there was something there. And it was just cool to see everybody kind of come together for this one. So in order to solve the Fetid Pool's cages, first you need to have a Rusted Amulet. Now this is a neck piece that drops anywhere on Corsis. I've seen it drop most frequently in the Fetid Pools near a corpse. So keep your eyes peeled. Look out for that and just something to be aware of if you have one already in your inventory and you pick it up it'll turn it to scrap so make sure that you don't pick it up if you already have one in your inventory use that one first and then come back and get that rusted amulet now you should recognize this large central room that has pools of acid all over the place first thing you need to do is equip that rusted amulet walk into the pools and crouch make sure you go deep enough that you'll start to see bubbles around your character at this point basically sit there let the corruption take over you let the acid kind of eat at you and it'll take away quite a bit of your health too so beware for that and at some point the necklace will get destroyed and it'll give you an acid cleaned key at that point you can get out of the pools of acid the rusted amulet is completely gone so that's destroyed you don't have it anymore instead you have the acid cleaned key now the key itself is going to be consumed upon use and you're going to need to repeat this for each door that you want to open so just be aware of that the item that's locked behind the door that you see the purple item that's kind of egging us on that's the heart of darkness it's a neck piece that increases all melee and range damage done by 20 percent but also causes the wearer to take 50 percent increased damage for 60 seconds after using a dragon heart behind some of the other doors are things like luminite glowing shards simulacrum and there's some more rooms that i haven't quite reached yet now if you only have one key i highly recommend just open the one that gives you the heart of darkness because if you open another door that leads up that staircase it's just going to take you to more cages and you're going to be out of keys and you're not going to get anything so make sure to go for the short wins grab that new item and then come back when you have another rusted amulet and you can open that door again so I'm really glad we got this one solved, guys. I mean, we can move on to finding other new gear out there. This one, it was crazy to see everybody kind of bang their heads on it, myself included. And finally, somebody got it. So I hope this really helped you guys out. But let me ask, is there anybody out there that solved it on their own? Did you guys just randomly stumble upon it? Or did it stump you like the rest of us? Let me know in the comment section below. But as always, guys, thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. This has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you guys next time.